Hi everyone, nice to see you back and welcome to those who are new to my channel. My name's Joyce and today I'll be doing an unboxing of the Studio Logic's Numa Compact 2 keyboard, which I just got in the mail today, so let's get into it. I just want to read out some information from the website, just so you get an idea of whether this keyboard is the right one for you. I was looking for a full-size keyboard with weighted or semi-weighted keys, lots of pedal inputs, MIDI, and yeah, of good quality, but on the lower budget end. So this was actually $800 Australian. This is my first keyboard because I'm actually a classically trained pianist. So I'm used to playing an acoustic instrument for over 15 years. This has 88 onboard sounds, eight acoustic pianos, eight electric pianos, eight keyboards, 12 bass and guitars, 12 organs, 12 synths, 12 orchestral and 16 other sounds. And it has inbuilt speakers, which is really exciting because you can literally just plug and play. Not to mention it's only seven kilos, so it's on the lighter side of these keyboards and stage pianos, which is important for me and my back. My family thinks it's so funny that people sit and watch people literally unbox things, but I like watching them, so I'm sure someone else will enjoy it. And you get to see what you're buying. We have a CD and manual. The adapter cord, the rest of that. Da, 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 da. And I just wanted to quickly show you what's included in the package. So we have a MIDI to USB cable. We also have a CD and manual, but laptops don't even have CD drives anymore, so we're gonna have fun not using that. And then we have an AC adapter as well as the kettle cord. So let's have a look at the inputs and everything that the keyboard has before we get into it. So you'll see some speakers on the side here and here. The really good thing is I can just start playing and there's sound there. So you can practice by yourself at home. There's no need for a door or hooking it up to a computer via interface or anything like that. Okay, so we have the power input and then we have the obviously the MIDI in and out. And we have MIDI to USB. We have two pedal uh, inputs. And then we have audio out, so right and left. And then we have the headphone jack at the end. Okay, I'm just gonna take you through what's on the actual board and I'm just gonna film it vlog style, so apologies. So we have our first joystick, which is the pitch bender. So that one springs back to center. And then we have the second stick, which is to do with effects. So from left to right, it will cause less or more tremolo in the sound itself. And then from up and down, it mutes it and increases the filter on that. And here are the main controls. So we have the global edit menu. So I'll go through what everything does in a second. Then we have our MIDI uh, button and our sound button and the store. The store is where you can store the programs and rename them and whatnot. Then we have our lower and upper buttons here. So if both are on, that means that both sounds are gonna be functioning. At the moment, I've got a choir and an acoustic guitar, which is under a preset program called Romantic. And then we can easily press the split button and the top half of the keyboard will have the acoustic guitar. So there's the split there and of course you can choose where you want the split to be so you can program the volume on both sides you can split the sign you can transpose um, and then we have our pedaling functions and our aftertouch as well and then if we keep moving down we have our sound bank so there's 88 onboard sounds we have acoustic piano I'm just gonna get out of this edit function we have our acoustic piano, so we have concert stage, vintage and studio. Rhodes, Wurlitzer, two electric pianos and four DXFMs, which are quite um, mellow pianos there. And then we have our keyboard menu, so our clavichord, harpsichord, vibes, marimba, funky clav, glock keys, all that sort of stuff. The basses sound really good, so we have acoustic bass, electric bass, slap, plucked, nylon, electric, acoustic and jazz guitar as well as our bass ride so that's with the drum and the bass together then we have organs so we have 
the draw vibs, the jazz organs, and our pipes, our synths. So we start off with our pads, more pads, and the cluster one sounds like a video game. Pretty cool. And then we have our orchestra sound bank. So we have strings, horns, brass, band, so sax band, big band, jazz flute, trumpet, and oboe. And then others sort of our world uh, world sounds. So Casotto, accordion, harmonica, our choirs, bazooki, canoon, oud, and standard and world kit. So they're our sounds on board. And then we have our first FX preset. So you can select upper and lower. At the moment I have Flanger on the upper register, so I want to take that off. And we can choose the amount on that. And then same thing with effects number two. Uh, we have rotary, tremolo, pan, tremolo, and delay. So we can choose upper or lower or both. And then we have our reverb. The reverb function's really nice. It's got the room, hall, plate, and spring, and you can choose how dry or wet you want it to be. And then finally we have our bass, treble, our mastering volume, and our normal volume there. So the whole keyboard in itself is seven kilos, so it's super portable. Um, unfortunately, the actual size of the keys is about half an inch shorter from normal keys. So if you're a pianist, you'd think that would throw you off, but I've actually found it okay. The only thing is that we obviously have to compromise on the weight of the action. So it feels quite light to play versus, say, a Yamaha or a Roland fully weighted action. If you're using this as a MIDI controller, that shouldn't be an issue. I definitely recommend it for gigs just because of the portability and the ease of, you know, taking it in and out of cars and things like that. And I think Studio Logic also has a soft case, uh, especially for the Numa Compact 2. And yeah, all in all, good keyboard, good MIDI controller, really nice sounds and ease of function. I think for me, this was a good entry level keyboard to get into. Obviously, if you need something a bit more heavy duty, you're gonna go for something a little bit more heavy duty, like a Korg or a Nord. Anyway,
So that wraps up my review and demo of the Studiologic Numa Compact 2. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and if you did, please leave a like below and if you have any questions, leave them in the comments. I'll see you in the next one. Bye!